Hey, what's up guys? It's Matthew. Welcome to the next episode of Product Evolution. Today we're going to be doing Android hardware. So, let's get started. Alright guys, we got to go all the way back to October 22nd, 2008. Almost Halloween time. The T-Mobile G1 was just released with Android 1.6, a 500 MHz plus CPU. That was a ARM11 processor. Uh, almost 200 RAM and a pretty decent screen. Woman unit sold and came out about 130 bucks with uh, T-Mobile. So, uh, the cool thing about this phone was it had a really unique design. It had a little chin thing, uh, slide out keyboard. The keyboard was actually fantastic. The keys were really spaced out. The keyboard was just really easy to type on. Uh, so now the touchscreen was capacitive and uh, had a 3.2 inch uh, touchscreen so pretty good removable battery so pretty much in the android os was i believe open source so it's pretty much the opposite of the iphone so the iphone was i think released a year before so the t-mobile uh, g1 did really good uh, really good with the hype of the uh, iphone so guys, the next device is the Motorola Droid, uh, coming with Android 2.0, released October 17, 2009, 600 MHz processor, underclock to 550, uh, 256 RAM, a beautiful screen, A54 by 480, 5 megapixel camera, LED, PowerVR, uh, SGX530 graphics card. Now what made this uh, Android device uh, popular was their ads, their, their Droid does ads. Uh, on Verizon and on TV, you would see Droid has a removable battery, has a, a larger screen, I think it was 3.7 inches, has LED flash. It basically took everything the iPhone didn't have since the iPhone was, you know, the big device at that time. And uh, it basically took all of that and they put it into the Droid and uh, they advertised the heck out of it and uh, the Droid was a really big uh, push for Android, really successful. So, uh, you know, you got to give credit to the Droid. So guys, the next uh, big push for Android was the HTC Evo, running Android 2.3.3, uh, launched June 4th, 2010. It was the first 4G phone uh, on Sprint, first 4G phone in the world, I believe. 4.3 inch screen, 512 RAM, came with a front-facing camera, 1.3 megapixels, and also a back-facing camera with, um, uh, back, I mean, but yeah, a rear camera with 8 megapixels. Uh, so this thing was hardware massive, 4.3 4 inch screen, it had a kickstand as you can see, uh, so really good phone, I think it was like 200 bucks on Sprint uh, with a contract, uh, so really good phone, a really big push for Android concerning hardware, and just like a monster phone, top selling phone uh, on Sprint on the first day of launch, so really good phone. So in my opinion, the last device uh, to uh, give a big bang was the HTC Evo 3D. It was a dual-core 1.2 gigahertz uh, processor Snapdragon, one gig of RAM, a front-facing camera, 1.3 megapixels, and also a 17 uh, 1730 uh, milliamp battery. Uh, Two hundred dollars with a contract, nine 960 by 540 screen. And but the interesting thing about this was it had a, a 3D screen, glasses-free like the 3DS. And also dual cameras you see on the back. And you can record 3D also. Uh, take 3D pictures, rec uh, record 3D, and view it back uh, on the device. It also has a 2D switch just in case you don't uh, want to see it in 3D anymore. The, I believe the whole UI, uh, HTC UI, has been uh, tweaked to work with the 3D screen. So it's a really impressive phone uh, personally to me. Uh, so I really, uh, if I had the money, I'd really uh, purchase one of these. But I think this is the, you know, really uh, bang phone. Uh, for uh, Android concerning hardware. So that's pretty much it guys. Be sure to uh, click that subscribe button if you like this video and be sure to give a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later.